Hello, so we're back with uh, the next um, ball of this pot. Going from Inverness to Reykjavik, I think. I honestly didn't see. Nearly went on the wrong side of the road. Again. By the way, have you heard about the Rocket League news? The on did you know on Rocket League you can play from you can play uh, with Xbox players on PC on Rocket League. You see that game? Yeah. You see on Rocket League you yeah. can play with on Rocket League if you play Rocket League on Xbox you can play it with people who play it on PC as well that there's I've actually I actually own a game where you can play it with people on Xbox and PC I own a 360 game that you can play and you can play it with PC players as well you can tell who the PC players are because they all have their mics in constantly yeah it's fucking yeah. annoying yeah. like there is a button to like mute it as well mm. they're just fucking annoying so annoying I didn't show. I usually show the map for the journey. Here's the map. I can show you it. And then you have to go here. You have to go to. I think there's Faroe Islands. And then. You have to hop across the islands. Yeah, you have to go from, from, you have to drive, up up to this place in Scotland. Then you have to go to Faroe mm. Islands. Then you have to go to Iceland. Or oh, I can. But I don't even know how you say this name. So. It's Raid of Forridor. <laughs> I don't know. So it's not actually a long journey because it's mainly going. No, it's just so. hopping across the. Yeah, you're just hopping across mm. the water. Hoping to get a journey to Wick because there's a specific place that. There. There's like places you can go. So I'm gonna hopefully that that's gonna happen soon. Mm. Did you know there's people who uh, play this game who there's modders who play it, uh, who mod this game but that don't mod American Truck Simulator, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Mm. You'd think you'd think they'd mod both games, well, yeah. but they don't. I think I think it's because they're more focused on one just one thing. Mm. I don't know. It's I think it's kind of weird, but but some people don't. I think there's like did you know there's like people who who pay people to um, mod to make game mods there's like c little companies who make mods for games yeah. that pay the people to mod the game sometimes you c there's actually mods that you have to pay for yeah that doesn't surprise me to be honest like there's mods that get so big that that you mm. you have to buy you can like buy them on steam there's there's on Half Life One. There's a mod that you can buy for like a fiver on Steam. Mm. I haven't played it, but but mm. I've watched. I watched a guy do a review on it. I can show you after. It's that that Australian guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, he did a review on it. He oh. basically just slaughtered it. <laughs> I think he said it looks the same or something like that. It plays the exact same as the actual normal Fallout game. I've never played Fallout 1. I, I could buy it on PC one day. I think it's like a few pounds. Mm. So I got I got Half-Life 2 because the orange box. Oh yeah, yeah. I tried to play Half-Life 2 on an emulator but I just I, the emulator was quite broken. Mm. There's just some games you literally cannot play with an emulator. Like you, like when I played that NASCAR game on PSP. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much you just can't play it because there's just no point in uploading a video where the textures are everywhere. No. Where like the people, you see like the crowd were like in the <laughs> in the That's on the awful. track. <laughs> That was so 
Like, why would I even mm -hmm. record that or play mm -hmm. that if there's just people in the track? So I haven't ha encountered, if I encounter like a glitch like on the last level of James Bond, I'll upload it because it doesn't matter. But uh. but like, but like, there's no point in me going through the whole game and then just don't upload it because no. it's glitched. I wonder if I wonder if in real life you get paid for taking a ferry journey as well. What do you mean? In this game, when you take the f uh, when you take the ferry journey, mm. it doesn't pay you, but when you dr it only pays you for when how many for how much you drive basically, but it doesn't pay you for your like ferry journey. I wonder if in real life they don't pay you for your ferry journey. If I so, know, that, it's a bit that would be that would be like cheating, <laughs> wouldn't it? I don't know because like say the ferry journey is four hours. Yeah. You've got four hours of not working, really, haven't you? True. But it's not like you can take any. It's not like I could just set on my Xbox and start playing it. <laughs> It's not like no, exactly. It's but not like your spare you're not time. you actually driving and working because you've got four or five hours to spare. Mm. So you yeah. Get paid. No. That'd be the only annoying thing. Mm. I'd rather just drive than sit on a on a ferry just mm. waiting for time to pass. They probably just sleep, catch up their sleep. Hmm. <sighs> I've been on the only time I've ever been on a ferry was when I went to the Isle of Wight. Yeah, me I've too. been <laughs> I've been there like three times. <laughs> The Isle of Wight is kind of shitty though, because it feels like you're just in England again. Yep. <laughs> That's like, it's literally like a midget version of England. Yep. That'd be I England if it was Iceland. <laughs> the, the weather's like Iceland there, probably. <laughs> I've never been Iceland, so they probably have shitty weather though, because of its name. Hmm. Well, it's right up north England, ain't it? Yeah. I love why it's weird though, like, l like, um, like, it's, it's, it's an island, but, but, like, they don't do a good job of, um, of, um, like, protecting people. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you could, f uh, like, um, part of the island just could crack at any moment. <laughs> like, stuff could fall off mountains and shit when you go there, if you mm. get what I mean. I wonder what the population of how many what how I wonder if um what the population is between all of those English islands Not like much, Guernsey really. and um like Guernsey and Isle of Wight and uh, Jersey. Okay. I wonder which one's the the biggest in size and which one's the most Probably populated. Jersey, I don't know. I'd say Jersey, but. Yeah. I'd hate to live on the Isle of Wight. Oh, it's so boring. I know. Like, there's not much to do. No. Like, it's, say if you were just like, oh yeah, um, uh, let's go and watch football. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, some days everything shut. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same here, pretty much, no. but, but it's not, the thing is, you can drive to different places. You can drive to far places to go to stuff. In England. Mm. No, I couldn't live there. I think it'd be boring. Yep. 
I'm nearly at that port. I like to get on the ferry. Yeah. My mum's got friends who live in the Isle of Wight, yeah? That's my mum. And, um, did you know their internet is actually quite good? Mm. It's kind of irrelevant, but I just thought, because cause, uh, uploading, in it? Because mm. I'm making a video to upload. I just thought I'd mention it. Because when I went there, my mum, like, my neighbour and my mum are friends with this girl who, whose parents um, uh, this girl like went to the same primary school as me, but, but like parents and her moved to the Isle of Wight. So my mom and my neighbour are friends with them. That's the only reason why we went there. Mm. Which I would probably want to go on holiday there. I went ice skating there. The ice skating rink was shit though. The ice was weird. It was like um, it was like they just broke a bit of ice and threw it on. That's what it felt <laughs> like. Like when you ice skate, it has to be smooth. But it felt, it felt like, it felt like they just got a load of ice <laughs> for it. Took it out of the um, of those ice thingies in the freezer and just threw them on. And then you have to like, like jump on it or something. That's what it felt like. The ice skating rink was just the shittest I've ever been on in my life. I'll never ice skate there ever again. My favourite one is Streatham because their ice feels smooth and it feels mm. like you can't fall over on it. The one at Guildford's quite good. When when the only problem with that is that it feels slippery. Mm. Like the ice is smooth but it just feels slippery. You feel like you're just gonna fall over every time you go on it. One of the things that I hate the most is when people have their own skates and they're just like knobs <laughs> about it. They like try and go around as fast as possible oh, no, no, no. and they think they're cool and shit. And it's just like, it's just like I'm using ones that are higher than I look better than them. <laughs> I feel like the Don in it. <laughs> See me skating around like a god and then they're just like looking like cunts. Uh -huh. It was funny, when when me and Ben recorded one time, Ben was like, um, I can't remember what Ben did, but I think he swore, and then he was just like, oh, uh, was I not meant to swear? I was like, well, just swear as much as you want. I was like, even if I bleeped it out, it would be here all day bleeping it out. <laughs> I was like, and it's a live stream anyway, so oh. once you've said it, it's not like yeah. you can't say it again. Now I'm in a different uh, country, I can now drive on the right now. It feels It feels natural to me now. Yeah, Ben, I think Ben like accidentally saw it and then all of a sudden he was like, oh, or was I not allowed to? And then I was just like, well, you've done it now anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. It's weird, I have to drive to another port literally round the corner. Mm. That's dumb. I wonder if the, it's like that in real life, you have to drive to another port to go to Iceland. Mm. The roads are weird as well. Probably around your time place, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is Faroe Island.
Well, I'm nearly there at the place that I'm going to. I'm travelling there now. What an hour and 13 minutes the game said. Literally, it's the next town over. Yeah. And I get another garage and then just. Um, and then, oh, look, there's ice and shit. <laughs> Told you it's cool. cold. If you're driving it, it doesn't make any noise, sadly. There's like no change of noise, it just um. stays the same. It's like no crackling sound. literally taken me an hour just to go to the next city mm -hmm. in real life that's probably uh that's probably true <laughs> mm. in the isle of Wight, it's probably like five minutes to the <laughs> next town So glad the shit that happens that has happened in Turkey this week will, would never happen in England ever. Yeah. People wouldn't yeah. people wouldn't waste their time. Yeah. People it's wouldn't. Not normal people anyway, is it? Nah, just weird people. It does happen a lot there though. Oh, it's happened a few times over the years. Something that crazy, crazy stuff doesn't usually happen in England. Good. Like, the last time something crazy happened was the riots, and that was like five years ago, probably even more than more that than now. That though, yeah. It wasn't it like it was like in 2010, wasn't it? I can't remember you. If you search the summer riots, it'll probably come up. Did you know one of the main characters from Harry Potter got arrested? Yeah, I know, idiot. I know. 
<laughs> the fat guy from Harry Potter. That's basically mm. what you have to remember him as. One of the costs from Harry Potter is born around here. Mm. I love how, um, if you look at like the famous people section in Sutton, yeah, mm. it literally comes up with like two people. But if you actually look at look at famous people by where they're born at, you actually find quite a lot people from Sutton. Yeah. There's quite a lot. Yeah. Like, um like Tim Bunn is like the one person and then there's like another like like a famous artist or something that was there's from quite Sutton. A few. Um, but but in real like if you actually look at people by location, because their location isn't Sutton, it's like Carshawn or something dumb like that, which is in Sutton anyway. Well, yeah, um, so. they, um, um, uh, then no you'll legends. find quite a lot. I'm, I'm level 36, so I haven't leveled up in ages. Max level is like level 30, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you need six. Oh, six times six. Um, I can't fucking count. Six times six. That's yeah. Thirty six. You have to be level thirty six. Oh, so I just passed it basically. <laughs> it feels like I haven't no because. Probably because I, I don't I haven't played this game in quite a while, and um, oh, the longest route won't even take me that long. That would be worth forty nine thousand, but I've already been there, so. Might go Antwerp and. I might go to that this I'm gonna go to this place in Iceland while I'm here. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Nah. That's what I was thinking. I can go to Acre Acre mm -hmm. and Akranes. I think that's how you say that. Which is like the other side of the actual island, and then the the there's I'm gonna go to this place because it's it's um, I'm gonna go to this one because it's like on the other side of Iceland. I'm gonna pick up the delivery. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna um I said I was gonna um. How long does it expire in five hours? I was gonna say if it expires soon then then I can't go and get a garage. That movie Tenacious D was quite good. The backstory was kinda shitty, but <laughs> but the actual movie was quite it good. Was weird. Ben said it was. Ben said he thought the movie the story was shit as well. <laughs> I thought yeah. the story was kinda shitty, but I think the reason why it was so good is because it was weird. the music's funny and the the like the movie is funny as well. Mm. So it's just, just funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've opened up a nav another garage in this place. Yeah. Not another garage in the place, but like I've unlocked another garage. Need to buy five more trucks and five more drivers. On this game, they're hoping to get Spain and Andorra on the map, mm. Bulgaria, Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, 
Northern Ireland and Ireland. You can see the map and it tells you the names even if they haven't finished it or done it or whatever, or even if they haven't started. They've so they put Andorra in as an actual as a city, but not the country. They haven't done the country yet, so. Thing. Like, I can drive to Andorra, I just can't go into the country. Like, properly. There's only one city called Andorra in this game. I don't know if they're capital. Usually, they put in just like one of the cities if they do, if they don't finish a country. Oh. So, there's either a city called Andorra in Andorra, or there's literally, mm. or it might not even be Andorra at all, it might just be the, um, there might just happen to be a place called Andorra. I'm just looking like a right bell. Just look like a, an absolute twat. Because I think some place is called... Yeah, there's some place called... That I don't know there's a place called Andorra. I thought that was a, this guy was a woman. He ain't. He's just a man with the weirdest hair I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, look, look at this guy. Doesn't he look like a girl to it at first? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See his picture? Yeah. He looks like a girl at first, but he's not. It's a man, just with fucking half of his head shaved. <laughs> his hair shaved. I've got loads of mods on this. I just... Um... I've got loads of mods. I, I haven't... Um, I've shown them before. Mm, yeah, yeah. The American Truck Simulator mods are good as well. Like, I've got a picture mod on both games. I got a picture mod that's got Mr. Bean on it, and it as my picture. Yeah. On this, I've only got mods for the woman. It just changes their faces and puts them to porn stars. I don't even know why. I didn't realize they were porn stars until yeah, someone yeah. read it in the comments. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not joking. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea yet, and then someone wrote in the comment, so so I just casually added the mod in. The other mod's good. It I'm gonna check. I'm gonna show you it after the video. I I haven't properly looked at it. Like I haven't properly looked at every one yet, but it tells you what country they're from, as well. Like it tells you, like. It, what country they're famous in yeah. which is kind of cool because like sometimes like because um because um they could be from a country and you have no idea the drive's quite long i might do it tomorrow yeah it's quite a quite a long journey this one yeah. or it's not really long but like it was longer than I thought it would be. I thought in game time it would be like five hours.